Hi everyone, today is Sunday, February the 18th, 2024. And today, I'm gonna give you an update on the refurbished cell phone price sheet. I actually looked on my channel and it's probably been about eight months since I did a video like this. Refurbished cell phones are cell phones that are used, but they look like they're brand new. They don't have scratches on them. They legitly look like they're brand new. I'm gonna go over iPhones and Samsungs. And if you want the supplier information, click the link in the description underneath this video. Now let's get started. All right, so here we have the iPhone 12 series right here. And I'm gonna show you guys the iPhone 13 series and we'll talk about prices. I'm not gonna talk about anything that's older than an iPhone 12. Okay, so here we have the iPhone 12. These three right here are the iPhone 12 Pros. And these right here are the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So before I begin, let me tell you a little story. Before I was in the phone repair business, before I even knew how to repair cell phones, I actually sold cell phones like this out of the trunk of my car. So for those of you guys that are saying, well, I don't have a store, you have a storefront, how am I gonna sell these? You know what, when I was selling cell phones back in the day, I'm talking about like 12 years ago, were there Verizon stores? Yes. Was there T-Mobile stores? Yes. Were there AT&T, Singular, remember Singular? Yeah, there was all those stores. And I still sold cell phones, just me out of my car. And back then, there was no Instagram, there was no Facebook Marketplace, I believe didn't exist. I'm like 100% positive. It, Facebook Marketplace didn't even exist. OfferUp didn't even exist, right? The only place that I was selling these were was on Craigslist. Craigslist back then is what OfferUp is today. And no, you don't need no special permit to sell stuff like this either. Back then, I was just a regular dude just got fired from my job and then I got into selling cell phones. Basically, I was selling flip phones, smartphones that were like this or Samsung phones or you know how phones are now. Smartphones didn't really exist yet back then. So I was selling phones like Razer V3s. Who remembers the T-Mobile Sidekick, the phone that looked like a little spaceship and you would flick up the screen like this and the screen would twist? The phone was made out of plastic. And back then, phones didn't even break either. Phones didn't even have glass screens back then. They had touch screens, but they were not made out of glass. Now today, cell phones, the front is made out of glass and the back is all made out of glass. So they break now. And what do you think the reason was for people that bought phones off of me from just you know a regular guy selling cell phones on Craigslist? is because I sold them way cheaper than the Verizon store. I sold them way cheaper than the T-Mobile or AT&T store. The thing with the T-Mobile, look at this. If you walk into an AT&T store or Verizon store, are they gonna have phones like this for sale? No, they're not. Those stores like that, they only sell brand new, in the box, never used new models. Like you're only gonna see the Samsung Galaxy S24 is in there, or the iPhone 15s, whatever the brand new cell phones, the Z Flip 5, or the, the Fold 5, I think the Fold 5 is out, I'm not sure. They only sell the newest stuff that's out on the market right now. So for example, how much is a brand new iPhone 15? Not the Pro or the Pro Max, just the 15. It's $800 plus tax, right? How much can you get a phone like this that's pretty much similar to the iPhone 15? It does everything. If you go on Instagram on an iPhone 12, is it the same Instagram as you see in iPhone 15? Yes. Are the cameras similar? The cameras may be slightly better on an iPhone 15 than an iPhone 12, but it doesn't mean that these cameras suck. These are nice cameras. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's just get straight into the prices. For an iPhone 12, 
a 64 gig. You can get this phone for $265. That's the refurbished, the phone looks brand new, right? No scratches. If this was an iPhone 12, 128 gigs, it would be 291. If it was the 256 model, it, it would be 317. But here's a little tip. The phone that I sell the most is the 64 gig model. Why? It's just because you can get it for cheaper and you can sell it for cheaper. And people that are buying iPhone 12s today, they just wanna buy a phone. They're not looking to buy a brand new iPhone 15 and they're gonna keep the phone for three or four years. They just need something now that they're gonna probably use for like a year, a year and a half. So for me personally, the iPhone 12 64 gig is one of the top models that I sell. Okay, so let's go with an iPhone 12 Pro. An iPhone 12 Pro, 128 gig model is 382. 256 model gig model is 407. Now let's jump over to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. An iPhone 12 Pro Max, 128 gig model is 449. 256 gig model is 488. So that takes care of the iPhone 12 series. Now let me show you the iPhone 13 series. All right, so here we have the whole iPhone 13 series. These three and this one is an iPhone 13. As you can see, the camera uh, situation is different than the iPhone 12. Here's the iPhone 13 Pros. And then here are the Pro Maxes, the 13 Pro Maxes. So let's start off with the iPhone 13 series. I just wanted to show you guys different colors. All right, for the iPhone 13, 128 gig model is 421. If you want a 256 model, gig model, it's 460. For the iPhone 13 Pro, it is 507 for 128 gigs. 539 for 256 gigs. iPhone 13 Pro Max, 571 for 128 gigs, 622 for 256 gigs. Now, before we're done with this, let me tell you, this supplier also sells used cell phones. Used phones that are like B grade or C grade, you can get them for cheaper than that, right? You can get them cheaper than refurbished phones. You can buy them for less, but you're gonna have to sell them for less too as well. So there's also the used uh, phones with scratches market, if you guys get what I'm saying. Okay, so now let's look at some Samsung cell phones. Samsung Galaxy S21 is 235. A Galaxy S21 Plus starts at 229. Galaxy S21 Ultra starts at 290. S21 Ultra. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy S22. The Samsung Galaxy S22 starts at 353. A Galaxy S22 Plus starts at $382. And the Samsung Note 20 Ultra, which is the phone that came out before the S22 Ultra. I was actually surprised about this. It's $217. I asked them again. I'm like, how much is it? And I said, is it $217? They said, yeah, it's $217. All right, so what you see here is Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultras. All in different colors. They're all the same phone. So for the S22 Ultras, they're $486. Refurbished, they look like they're brand new, $486 for these S22 Ultras, 128 gigs. Now they do sell the S23 series, but for me, I personally do not buy those yet. They're just, for me, uh, I just think they're still too high right now to buy and resell right they're gonna start if you start buying phones that are really expensive like that they're gonna take a lot more money to buy right you're gonna need more capital to buy stuff like that but i'll, I'll give you the prices anyways an s23 starts at 460 an s23 plus starts at 560 
and an S23 Ultra starts at 730. So now you guys seen all the phones, I giving you guys the prices, you guys wanna decide if this is something for you. My supplier information for refurbished cell phones is part of my cell phone repair course. Click the link in the description if you're interested in reselling cell phones in your city. Remember, you can sell them on OfferUp, you can sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Take over your city. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.